Hey guys, it's Dom here, and today I have a brand new deck list that I've made, which I'm really proud of, which is a Immortals Shield Wall deck, which is all about just getting as many shields as possible and using the synergy of these cards together. And it's had a few impressive matches, and I've got one which I quite liked. Right, so up against Skelliger. This deck does actually tend to do quite well against Skelliger, because the shields usually, you know, stop the damage. But, um... Nilfgaard's probably where this deck falters. Uh, we'll get rid of Shield Wall or the Rune Spell. Get rid of that Cavalry. And I'm thinking of getting rid of Boiling Oil just because, yeah, we can get a much better Warfare card. And we can now use that into Natalis to get Boiling Oil if needed. In a way, it's kind of nice that we go first just because we get one extra kind of way of getting a Shield. So we'll open up with Ronvid, just because he's going to be one of our returning cards. Another good thing about this deck is it does have quite a bit of carryover. Hence the reason we run Siri. Because I was thinking of maybe switching up with like an Igni or something quite aggressive. Because this deck is kind of quite just... It, it, it does its own thing and hopes the opponent doesn't get in the way. Uh, so Hyaka Drummond seems like a good target for a Boiling Oil, so we might have to go through Amphibious Assault into Natalis just to hit her, because if we keep on playing into this round with her on the board, it's going to be a bit of a pain. So go to John Natalis. Grab a Boiling Oil and get rid of her. Also, Engineering Solution might as well now, just to start to kind of get a bit of a lead. Daga too, but oh, okay. Um, well, I'm hoping they don't have like a Sigdrifer's right or anything to kind of res that, but we will keep a boiling oil kind of hidden for the later rounds because we're gonna have to just put up with it for now. Interested about their new leader, Rage of the Sea. So it gives them a siren and it deals rain damage for one turn. So basically, two of my units are damaged by one. It's interesting. I'll give it that. I mean, it doesn't seem too amazing. I mean, I guess it's nice because it does get past defenders, but it's random, so... Yeah, no, it's, it's not for me, I don't think. Harold. Okay, yeah, you know what? Um, This round's starting to look a bit dangerous. I mean, we've got Harold. We've got... Two Blades... I mean, we've got one other legend or gold out of them. It kind of is worth passing. Yeah, because Dagger's gone, Harold's gone, and Hyurk has gone. So, I guess we could just leave it at that. Make sure we got a boiling oil in the third round in case they do anything with Dagger. Because Dagger 2 Blaze is probably the only thing which is going to be able to do enough damage or gain enough power to stompede or stampede our amazing little combo we got coming on. I mean, they are a card down now, which is pretty good for us. Even though they'll probably instantly pass, but we do have Vandergrift, just in case they do. Boiling oil's nice. Rune Word can go again, we don't really need that. And Lady of the Lake is really nice, so we'll keep her. I don't see them pushing this second round, but obviously you never know. No, they don't bother, so Vandergrift will come down. No, no. And we'll just carry him over to the next round. That's really good. Um, and the Artificer, we can probably get rid of. And that's, yeah, you know what, this hand's just perfect. I think there's nothing really that we can do to it. We've got plenty of Immortals. We've got only, like, one card, and that's just the Immortals that we want to grab from deck, but we can do that through Amphibious Assault. 
Uh, if we start with Donmir of Troy on the ranged row, that means that we can kind of go into Corvo or um, Atra, Nightman. Just start getting our kind of long game buffs. Vin Vintelm. <laughs> Vintelm. That dude. I'll probably start with Corvo because he'll be buffing up other units. Although, yeah, because it does mean as well, yeah, if they keep on using all their reins now, that it's less likely to hit Windholm's shield. And he's going to need that. I don't want to be using my leader ability too early on. Just because we do have the king in hand who will be taking away their shields for his own buffs at the end of the game. Which we do plan to have as our last move. Although they have final say, so if they have something like Karafi Heatwave, that would be quite dangerous. But I haven't really seen them play any neutral guards. So they might be running Devotion. Death to the invaders! We'll give Corvo his own shield as well now, just because he's getting a bit low. We need to try and split our buffs equally over each row, again in case of Geralt Eden. Again, they could just be running Devotion, so we could be fine. That is a tempting boiling oil target, but just in case of rezzers, I'm not going to waste it on a shield maiden. Uh, we could Amphibious Assault now to get our Immortals. Because we want that shield to break. And we'll put it on the front row just so the defender can't hide it as well. Another might as well buff up Ron Vid a bit. Just so, yeah, Geralt Eden wouldn't be as lethal. I mean, he still will be incredibly lethal in a game like this because we have so many buffs. That's probably going to get the long ship. Honestly, again, boiling oil, it just feels like a boiling oil bait. So we're going to hide it for now. And if we continue just to play our cards, most of them have shield anyway. So it just means we'll be getting a few less buffs on our king. Because the shields are getting pronged. I mean, we can go into like Lady of the Lake soon as well. Or... Svalblood Priest. Okay, I feel like... What are they actually trying to bait me out for? It... It's annoying because... Sigdrifer's Rites Alchemy, I believe. I, I might just get rid of the Svalblood Priest, to be honest. I'm, I'm starting to think that... That's going to keep on buffing. There's not going to be a better time for it. Just do it now. And then start to buff up our units. I mean, actually, from looking at points, we're not really doing that well. Because, I mean, we are ahead of them, but there's so many things they could do to easily, like, swoop the lead. I think we have got this, though. We'll uh, use reinforcements to get some more Immortal Cavalries, this time on the back row, because we have to summon our King on the melee row. I'm trying to hide the buffs behind the shields. I don't know how much longer the shields are going to last. Nice that every unit's buffed, though. Cheers, Corvo. See, they've actually got a lot of bronze cards. I, I'm assuming their final three are all golds. Right, it's Lady of the Lake as well. Just to get even more shields down. Might as well buff that unit at least once. Imagine if they were playing Blood first. <laughs> I mean, I doubt they would if they've let us get this many buffs. Wild Boar of the Sea, that's... I mean, that's going to swoop over everything once. But most of us have shields, so... Sort of annoying, but then that's actually going to help Immortals. We can give Vintelm a shield back with the Lady of the Lake. And what we could do is also just give our final few unit shields. Sangriel as well. If, if we Sangriel this turn, and then save the shields for next turn, then instantly break them with Rogna, then that means we'll have, what, the two shields in the back row. Immortals will gain his own shield. And then, what, we can just put down two more shields. So that'll be five shields getting broken, which will be, what, five times three, 15 points extra. 19 point King Rogna. Rogna. 
and that's excluding the buffs that are given by shield wall as well so i think we got this one in the bag now i wouldn't be surprised if they conceded oh they're passing that's nice you know what? i'll show them what i'm gonna do so apologies for the bming but you know giving him some knowledge here and then might as well Corvo, as I said, 19 points. But anyway, that's going to end the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.